Hey, welcome to another Moonshot, and I trust again that your week has been fantastic. So continuing on of the theme of fulfillment that I introduced last week to start this 2020 year, I'm reminded the futurist Roger Hamilton refers to three key phases in the individual development of one's personal pursuit of that fulfillment. So today, I thought I'd share a little time on how to personalize those keys to your own life and your own goals and how to become a powerhouse within yourself who can achieve their most meaningful objectives. And I've entitled this, How to Light Your Own Path. Now my children and some of you will know that I'm a bit of a maverick in the things that I do and that's a handle that I snatched from the Tom Cruise Top Gun character. And to echo a line from him as the movie hero, take the shot or get out of the way. Now, media mogul Ted Turner shared a phrase that I've never forgotten. Do something, either lead, follow, or get out of the way. You see, although you may have set your sights on a particular target, that doesn't mean that nobody else in the world has. So I'm gonna share some tips on how to not stumble around in the dark because you can be sure that someone else is steaming along on their path that will be towards possibly the same objective that you have. And history has shown that the person with the brightest light on their certainty and conviction has always won. Now since keys are used to unlock something, as I share these, I want you to think about what they will unlock for you or what you can unlock for yourself from them. The first key is show up. Whoever you are and wherever you are, the only way to add new knowledge upon which you can act with clarity is to understand your purpose, not just when you begin any new project or race, event or course or training or segment. You should start every day clarifying to yourself your why, your purpose for what you will think and say and do so that you are, you'll begin with the end in mind. Use a priority matrix to quickly determine the urgency and or importance of each of the steps and tasks that will be required on your path to enable your focus to be sure that it's always on the highest priority for you now. Determine who is best for each task in case it might be more efficient for someone else other than you so that you invest your time only on the things that you're responsible for or the things that you must do. The second key is step up. Once you're comfortable with things, you need to empower yourself or find someone who can charge you with a new mindset that will elevate yourself and others, as well as your body. Feed your mind each day with knowledge that will nourish your creative thoughts and that will energize your positive actions and crystallize your assertive results. Don't look to shy away or hide away from new experiences that can or will move you toward your objective or your purpose. Face, accept, embrace and welcome challenges as opportunities for you to demonstrate your expanding capacity for growth that you are developing. The third key is give back. Be sure that whatever you do aligns with who you want to be and who you are becoming because the world is watching you. Others will need and at times will even seek what you have. So be willing to lift them with alignment to your purpose. Fill yourself with an energy that lights you up from the inside, that then brightens any room that you enter, and then illuminates the community that you are a part of and have opportunity to impact. And ultimately, look to become a lighthouse to the world because you are fulfilled in the things that you do and in your life. And as always, hang your light on my mantra, live, love and serve.